I'm not playing against Priest of this deck. <sighs> Big Priest against this deck is just like... It's just so tragic, dude. You just do nothing. Just you need to set up, then you set up, you just psychic scream your whole board. Oh, cool. He's playing a fun deck. Nice. I don't have to concede. I'll probably hold this till four, just go Spider Mom and play dead. It's like one of the best cards in this matchup. Kind of like him to commit a little bit more, though. Yeah, that's, that feels better. Just let him go in, do his big kid stuff, make a big minion, and go Spider Mom and play dead. We're chilling. Uh, tilted? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty tilted from that loss, not gonna lie. The open cup loss. Can't do much though, sometimes you lose the trash cans. Okay, so it's fine, he's committed everything into one resource, which is usually what that deck just does. If he goes Spider Bomb, play dead, next turn we can just cube the Spider Bomb, and we'll be in a pretty good position to win. We could also go like Necromechanic, play dead too, if we so choose. A lot of stuff we can do, this sounds nice. Really, really nice card on uh, Necromechanic in this deck. It's like Baron Rivendare, which is already nuts, but it's well statted. Okay, just clears it, that's fine. Can you just play the Necromechanic here? Like, even like cubing Necromechanic is kind of fine. Cube, just play dead. Just the fact that he has to remove it is pretty tough for him to do. He has one more play arms, I believe. It's this card. It's only five, though, it's not six. So he doesn't actually get the clear. Probably is just gonna doink us in the head, but I mean. We'll see. Okay, cool. Hits the doink, goes to the wall. Cube hit the play dead. Probably gonna want to Rexar next turn to stabilize the life total. Get a good trade into the 5 5, go from there. Spirit Inner Fire, GG. Not quite, but basically. <laughs> Comeback season of Destiny, boys. Uh, we could just do the Shaw stuff. Kind of like the Shaw stuff. It's more appealing to me than just playing Rexar. The deck doesn't run Reach, right? So if we don't give him anything that's with two attack or below to do the um, the Charge and Dog thing on, we're kind of just fine. So if we do this and we play the Stalker, then we're going to get three of those. Yeah, this is just fine. We, we don't get full value because we missed one, right? There's not enough room, but we're still fine. Do the Rush, then go face here. Next turn I will play this just to be safe, because they do sometimes run Fire Tree Witch Doctor and can't get reached that way. Um, but in this case, we probably just win. Really, really close game, though. Uh, there are there dragons that deal direct damage. I know there's a five mana five four card that deals three damage if you have a dragon in hand. I'm not sure if there is direct damage dragons though. Dragon Moss Scorcher deals one damage to all cards, all, all minions, not uh, necessarily. Not necessarily cards that uh, are not necessarily characters. Sorry. Uh, but we should be fine now. I think I am just going to play the Feign Death here. Pretty low value, but I mean, the, say low value is and you get a bunch of 3-6s, but <laughs> it's low value in the sense that it only hits one minion. Pretty nutty Egg Hunter game, though. It's kind of weird. We didn't really win with any eggs. We kind of just won with Death Rattles. Nothing in my deck should do enough damage to kill me. Cool, we're good. GG. Hunt some mirror could be kind of cool. Uh, I don't keep nine lives. I keep the egg though. Egg's really good. Corpse Soda's too slow. I want Stalker. Nice. And a Widow. Widow is not that great. It's like actually okay if he's playing the exact mirror matchup. Because it's just like a body you plop, and a body you just plop down is pretty good, especially when it has an effect that synergizes overall quite well with the deck. 
Uh, tracking's fine. A lot of them right now play like the combo version of this. Double egg. Second egg's fine, like turn five, just play for free. It's not that good at that point, but it's still whatever. Free something is better than free nothing. Uh, maybe we just do this actually, where we play this, and we go an egg plus feign death on turn four. Pretty dope line, you get a really full board, and there's nothing really bad about it. It's not like insane value, but I mean, you get what well, that actually kind of is, because you get a five five and two four and two four fours for two mana, but it could be better. <laughs> Boom. A lot of wild hunter secrets. Just like a lot of wild secrets in general. They usually only run like cat trick, bear trap, uh, explosive, freezing, rat trap, snipe, snake, and venom, and wandering. So literally all of them are viable in hunter. Funny how that works. In mage, the number's a lot smaller, but um, in hunter, most of them are viable other than like dart trap, cash, misdirection. Bonus. It's engaging. Okay. Really explosive. What's rat? Okay. Um, let's give him something. So we actually have the potential if one of these corpse out of six to do the snip snap thing this game. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, make a snip snap as big as we possibly can. That being said, I don't think the Corpse Widow sticks that often just because of that reason. Good nine lives here. It's probably what he's looking to do, to be honest. Kind of sucks we don't have a mech on the board, too. If we did, it'd be dope. Bow, yeah. So our meme is never going to be completed. It was bad, man. Um, yeah, we were close, but no cigar. Spider Bomb, that's a mech that I could have stepped that I stuck to. Let's go face, see if it's any of the ones that do things when you go face. That one's fine. So if I play the bomb, I'm pretty sure he's just going to remove it right away, right? Like, there's no way I get the stick to happen. So I think we're just going to go face and play this. Maybe we do that and play the spider bomb. Then in some worlds, the spider bomb sticks. I think in most, it just gets cleared, but this is, like, really optimistic, where we go strap this on, like, seven times. It'll be really cool. That being said, though, I don't think that happens. Hounds. Yep. Cool. Be secret death rattle hunter. Cool deck. Well, we gave it a shot this game, boys. Not over, but we did give it a shot. Thinking about how to trade. He probably just wants to kill the 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah, killing the 5-5 five, five seems good. Kill the 5-5, five, five, go face for one. Or sorry, go face for nothing. Swing the 2-2. Two, two. He's probably pretty happy with that. We're also kind of fine with that, though. I don't really want to play the scary bag at this point. I think we're just going to play the Terra Scale and Hero Power. This is its own turn in and of itself. We just make a 4-6 in Hero Power, which is pretty good. So, Faunus, steal my 5-5. Five, five. Oh, 0-3 is not a 5-5. Five, five. I think this guy's stream is saving me. Um, it's possible. I don't really care though, it happens a lot. Like if I queue up a wild game on North America, you can literally flip a coin and there's your chance of me getting stream sniped if heads and okay. Doesn't really matter. Mark shot. A lot of cool cards you can get in Hunter uh, in Wild. I'll have to discover. A lot of flexibility. It's one of the nicest things about it. Um, I actually don't think Void Ripper's that good here. I'm just going to do the strap on play again. Still play around the Rat Trap because we're only playing two cards. Hero Power doesn't count as a card. Um, Void Ripper flip, Hero Power, we're good to go. Sylvanas is too slow. In general, you should be good here. Got Darko, man. Also, Raptors 1, gentlemen. Raptors 1. How do you guys feel about that? 3-1, baby. 3-1. Okay. So we probably lose now. I 
or maybe not. We have it on board, actually. Never mind, we win. Okay, we just win. I kind of forgot the eggs existed. I was thinking I only have four power. <laughs> I was like, how do I kill him now? Kind of forgot we played two new arena eggs that did a lot this game. GG. This hunt is definitely mine. Another hunter. Uh, Bomb's kind of bad in the match. If I was some coin, I'd probably keep the mechanic. I just, I don't like any of this, to be honest. Mechanic's like a really good card, just 4 mana 3 6s in general are pretty strong in this matchup, but just not the, um, the time you want them. This one's like better than the mechanic, slightly, but it's still just off. Yeah, not a great hint. Uh, good game, dude. Good game. Hit him for two. Pura, pura. How did the open go? Um, it's technically still going and not that well. I'm just gonna play this as a spider tank. It's not that fun here, but it just it does something on curve. Hey brother, I hope you're doing all right. Yesterday I jammed my finger in a metal door and it cut through some of my finger, so I can't. Oh it for shit. Now. But tomorrow I'm having to go to work, so kill me, PLS. Thanks, Control. You good, dude? That's not cool. Are you, like, able to work with it? You got, like, a hospital or anything? Thank you for the 100 blankets, but I hope you're doing well, man. Okay, so if I played Mechanic, it would have been a lot worse from the pop out there. Sort of whatever, though. I think he's just setting up hounds with that, to be honest. That's like my only explanation for that. Perfectly fine if they just play big cards, two big cards he has to remove. And another little one that gives me some setup for um, terror skills. Another Barnes and Kerr from a Hunter. Oh. Wawa Wiwa. I mean, I guess we can just do this and win the game. It seems fine, right? It doesn't really matter if I do that. It has rush anyways, we just keep the 1-1 one -one alive. Play that. Play this. Nice yes, Raj, buddy. GG. Man. Imagine playing a barn stack. Whew. And just getting dunked on like that. That's like a slam dunk, man. You're like, haha, I play barns and summon yes, Raj. And then they're like, uh, no, buddy, not quite. Not quite, my man, not quite. Play dead? Yeah, you can yank one of my cards, buddy. I don't really care. Yep. Oh no, my rush card. Oh no, I'm one off lethal. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. But still not good enough. I don't have any way to yank his cards, but he's put him a one, then he has to play Rex or he loses. Bruh! Bruh! Oh, he yoink, he's my cheap card. Uh, I should still hear a bar. Take the play dead. Cool. It's a lot of minions. We're good to go. Yeah, Rat's kind of hard to activate with this deck, because you don't really have, like, that many cheap plays. Like, two turns, uh, two cards a turn is generally pretty good, because, like, the one of cards that you play in this deck are usually really chock full of value. The, the general gist of what you do with this deck is you play a big card like Necro Mechanic, then you play like two small cards after. Generally one with Death Rattle and one that activates a Death Rattle, and that's like how you get like value generation in this deck. You don't really ever need to do like three cards a turn. Cool. I didn't know it worked like that, but that's cool. <laughs> I, I actually had no clue that it worked like that at all. But okay, cool. You learn something new every day. 